Hi and welcome made by Marley. Today we're going to be decorating a tear tree for spring and making some mini little farmhouse sort of vintage style sort of little signs to put in your tear tree. Um, one that says go with a watering can and one that says spring. And I got the, the pictures and printed them off on the computer from the graphics. I painted two pieces so of just MDF all along with a white chalk paint and I've printed out my two images from the graphics fairy. What I'm doing now is I'm just masking taping off the edges to make a tiny little frame. So I just eyeballed it, but you're probably better measuring it because mine's were a little bit squiffy, I guess. But it didn't matter to me. I wasn't I wasn't too concerned about it. It's just to kind of make it look a little bit more finished than just a block of wood. So you just mask off a little edge or how thick or how thin you want your frame to be around the edge and mask it off. And then you just... Um, paint it with whatever colour of paint you want. I'm going to be painting mine with black and um, you paint them all the way around. Make sure you don't go under the edges or that will make a wonky frame and uh, do the same with the other one and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them to dry. So my frames are dry and I've pulled off the masking tape. They're pretty shabby looking. I'm now covering my, my little images with some Mod Podge and sticking them down and making sure that I've Mod Podged all the edges and over the top of them so they're nice and secure. Done the carrots and now I'm just doing the same with the watering can, making sure my positioning is correct and uh, doing the same thing, just making sure that I'm going down the edges. I've got a stencil here, it was one of the ones that Martin made that didn't quite work out. It's very thin so I'm just using it with a chalk pen um, going round and um, putting the word spring. Now there was a little bit of black underneath my stencil which kind of made some black marks on it but I really liked that, it was a happy accident. So you can see me on the second one when I ran out of black splodges on the back of my frame putting some on myself because I think it made it gave it that sort of printed kind of messed up look which I quite like so I'm just going over each letter because as I said it was never was supposed to be a stencil that was actually ever used it was just a, a kind of test one so I've written the word spring and on this one I'm going to do the word grow I'm just going around the letters uh, with my black acrylic um, paint pen um, to finish that off and then you see me just kind of going around fixing it and what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of putting some black bits on like the other one um, to make it shabby and that's it, we're done. Here's my tear tree. What I do with my tear tree is I put it on a pottery banding wheel with a chopping board on top so that I can turn it as I go and I know that it's all going to be, uh, I can look at all sides at once. There's a big butcher's weight in there, it's very vintage, it came from an old butcher shop and I keep it in there because my children have knocked off various tear trays so it's just to keep it weighted. So what I'm doing first is I'm putting all my big pieces on. So there's a vintage jug and a rabbit and a Kath Kidson flower shaker, some vintage tins in a box and I've got the kind of basic what I'm looking for and now what I'm doing is I'm just getting lots of artificial spring flowers and just pepping it up and giving it a nice cheer up with some spring flowers. I'm twir twirling around the tree as I go so that I don't have to keep, you know, running around at all. It's a good way of kind of like getting it all organised and then that way you can take things out and put things in the way you want. And now I'm just putting some ornamental grasses that kind of hang over. I like things to kind of hang over and be in the tree at the same time so that gives it a little bit of interest. So um, now I'm just adding in my little uh, vintage signs that I made, the carrot ones going on the top and I'm putting the little watering can because I, I made that one shorter so it would fit in underneath um, and um, I'm just positioning it all so it all sits up. Um, I've managed to fit that little basil plant, fake basil plant in, a little calf kiss and duck on the bottom, one at the top because they're quite spring-like. And that's it. Oh no, it's not it. I forgot I've hung some of the Made by Marley. I painted these myself, some uh, vintage bunting. I'm just trying to tie up the loose end so I can tuck it down and hide it with greenery so it's not instantly seen. Um, that's how that looks. You can hear my cat meowing outside. 
and it's finished. So starting at the bottom we have some flowers, a little jug, um, some more spring type flowers, a little calf kids in dark and calf kids in a flower shaker, all with the same sort of kind of pastels of the flowers. Some more flowers, our little grow sign is in there, which gives it some interest. This is my own bunting that I've painted, um, it's made by Marley Bunting. Um, it's from the mini bunting kit, but it's really nice onto your trees. Um, some artificial greenery, some daffodils, a chicken, and some ornamental grasses. And you can see that the butcher weight in there anyway, but it's vintage and I quite like it in there, so it's not doing any harm. So if you move to the top, we've got that little um, galvanised lantern with some spilling out sort of greenery, some flyaways. Some ornamental grasses, a cute flocked pink rabbit, some more greenery, and a, another little calf kids and duck, a vintage jug, and we're back to the beginning again. Oh no, we've got more, and we've got our grow, no our spring, the other one was grow, we've got our spring carrot sign, just a little nod to spring. I did it in black and white, I didn't choose to not do it in pink because pink's not a colour I really do very often but I just thought since it's spring. So there we have it, that's how to, how I decorate a spring tree. Normally I'm a little bit more greenery and a little bit more muted but I wanted to have something pink. I wanted to make a, a something pink and spring-like and bring some colour into, into things. Anyway... I'm Lel from Made by Marley. If you like what you see, um, please subscribe. And if you think somebody else is struggling to try and, you know, like get some ideas for crafts or doing things around the house, then share my videos. Leave a comment below if you like it. Or even if you don't like it, just leave a comment. It's okay. I'm open to everything. Um, and um, hopefully I'll do more sort of home decor things in the future. There's a spring sign sitting over there. It was always almost too much for me. There was no, no room at the end for me to put that in today. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.